wanted to ask you, you know, um, I grew up in uh, a family where one of my uncles had severe mental disorders and thought he was a, like Indian from a tribe or something, you know, uh, kind of got it because he was in solitary confinement for too long and he actually went crazy in prison. Um, so mm. I've always been sensitive to people that have, you know, mental disorders. Um, but, but when you start saying a society that you now have to pretend that Candace's uncle is an Indian and if you don't, you know, acknowledge him as Pocahontas, then you're a bigot. You're that's that's wrong. Now you're putting the pressure on me <laughs> to not just be, you know, accepting of this, but now to play the crazy game and to say if you mispronounce and you don't call him Chief Pocahontas, then you're a bigot. Yeah. I don't play that game. I'm like, I'm going to live in reality. You cannot live in reality. You can say how you feel. You can say what you think you see. You can pretend, say that you think that, you know, we're on Mars right now, but I'm not going to pretend that I see Mars because it makes you more comfortable. One, this isn't a case of someone thinking there's something that they're not. What people are saying is that there is a misalignment between my sex and my gender. But disorder. The, this, this, uh, no, no. That, that, point. My no, mind no, and, my, and my body don't match. That's a disorder. That doesn't make it a disorder. It just means that the world may be more diverse than we've previously understood it to be, whether we see it in, in plants, whether we see it in animals. There's all kinds of complexity, and we look in, in history. I mean, even we go back to the continent of Africa, we look, look in Asia. There's all kinds of, of examples of people who have uh, complicated gender performances and complicated understandings of gender and how we perform gender can be different. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess for, my question for you would be why, if someone identifies as, particularly in a, you know, someone who, who you, you engage with, say it's a colleague at work or whomever, a family member or whomever, if they say, look, I prefer to be called she and her, and I, I no longer want to be identified by this name, why not, why not just honor that? If you changed your name, I will honor it. But, 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 but why not? I mean, I'm sure you call people by nicknames and all, I'm sure there's, you grew up, you grew up, in, you grew up in a black neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. people, I know you, you know somebody named Peanut, right? Yeah. You're right. You don't say, well, that's not your legal name. I'm, I'm, your mama named you Joe, I'm gonna call no, you Joe. I, no. I, no, I'm saying if a name is one thing, but if you're asking me to change pronouns, I'm not gonna do that because these are established pronouns. You're asking me to now change the English language, right? We know why we call female, she, her, girl, woman, okay? These are, these are what words that have meaning. These are words that have meaning. So this is a book. Right? right. So could it could you call this uh, this is a book and uh, this is a mug? Could you call this a book and call this a mug? Yes, you could do that if you want to change it. But words have meanings. Right. So now if I switch it and you say, well, this mug wants to be called a book, it's a mug. It's just a mug. This is this is the word we've established for mugs this is the word we established for books. So you're asking me to change the actual meaning of words to accommodate you. I'm not going to do that. No, now, if, uh, no, I'm not going to do though. that. It is the, because not only is it a request, you can now get in trouble no, in certain states I'm saying that's not people for request. misgendering someone. The, the request of the trans community is not that I'm actually a man. Uh, but I want you to pretend I'm a woman. The, the, the argument of the trans community, which I agree with, is no, I am a woman. And so I want you to I revert but, to me. But they're, you're, they're not, you're not a woman. So that's, mm -hmm. that's the problem. So this is what I say is now you're, you've asked me to, to take on your mental disorder, right? So I am okay with the fact, the, the argument from my uncle who thought he was, he thinks he's a you know, Native American from a certain tribe is that this is what he thinks. He thinks, but he's not. Okay, so I, I'm not then to say to me that that argument is valid because he thinks it. No, just because you think something doesn't make it real. Okay, but that's exactly what gender is. Gender is, is exactly about an experience and a performance and a social construct. It's not a social construct. Stop saying a social construct. To say that words don't have meaning and they're socially constructed means nothing. And I'll tell you well, why. They are, they are. But you say that, but then you'll. Let this, me this, this was always a book. This, okay, this so could then, be called mug. So it then just our, happens not you know to what be. it is? Our entire discussion about black America meant nothing. There's no such thing as racial injustice. You see what I did there? Because black is a social construct. Yeah, but and we live in a social reality. So within that social so reality, you can't be both, Mark. So you either sure think that be. the gender wage gap is BS, that feminism is wrong, and that racial disparities are all BS because everything's a social construct. You're either going to go full postmodernist and say nothing is real and it's all made up, or you're going to acknowledge that there are some hard concrete truths. If there are hard concrete truths, you and I are black. Okay, that's not going to change because. We wake up and we decide, you know what, today I'm white and it's just how I feel, and today I'm Chinese. No, 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 you and I are black, okay? We are acknowledged as black people, we're sitting down as black people. Mm. I am a woman, you are a man, okay? Now, if I want to wake up tomorrow and say I'm a man, you want to say you're a woman and we want to play the crazy game, we can do that. To then say all of society now is to pretend that it was all a social, no, it was a social contract. You were born a male, I was born a female. Yes, that's a sex. We are black. Okay, it's a color though. Black is a, it's a word that we use so, to say a sex. Female is a word that we use that has a meaning. Yes, it means you are, you are born with a vagina. You can have children, you have a uterus. When you are a male, you are born with a penis. You can, you can get, you get a woman pregnant. These words have real meanings. We cannot suddenly get into society where there are no truths. So, so to acknowledge a social construct does not mean that we ignore biology. 
and it doesn't um, it doesn't mean that we don't have can men get pregnant uh depends I know. I know. What does it I, depend on? I know trans men that can get pregnant. That that means it's a woman. Only one sex. Well, can that, get that's pregnant. a circular argument. That's it's making a circular the argument. Yeah. It's proving my thing. There is a truth, a concrete truth. You have to be born with a uterus to have a baby. Only women can get pregnant. The fact that we have arrived in a society right, that's the part I'm debatable. disagreeing with. That's the part I'm disagreeing There's with. There's nothing to disagree with. It. These are facts. So you can say that this person who is pregnant identifies as a man. That person was born a woman. I can tell you that every single time because only women can have sex because there are concrete truths about life. Have babies. That, 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 can, can, I mean, can have uh, babies, pardon. And that, that is a hard truth about life. You cannot make that go away because you want to call a man, somebody who has a beard and dresses like a dude a woman. Only if it's pregnant, I'll, I can tell you exactly what it is. It's a woman. So, so I, I, I'll give you, let's go back to the social construct thing because that, it'll, it'll answer the thing you just said. I'm not ignoring what you just said. I want to tie it together. So the, the idea of, my point was that a social construct doesn't ignore physical realities, right? Um, social, the social construct is about how we as a society make sense of those physical realities, right? So for example, um, you said we're black, sure, right? Um, I'm trying to think of, a, 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 you pick a light-skinned black person, right? They're black, right? We'd agree on that. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the PR, let's go to Puerto Rico. Let's go to Jordan. Let's go to Iraq. Let's go to Sudan. Let's go to Ghana, right? And each of the, and let's go to South Africa. I'm, I'm picking these places very specifically because they have different racial logics and racial paradigms. And what it means to be black here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a universal blackness, right? That, that, that if in, in Dominican, there might be five different other racial categories, right? And there, there are some light skinned black folk here who, when they go to Ghana, get ready, get basically seen as white, right? Because of how we socially construct it. Doesn't mean my biology changed. Doesn't mean my physical reality changed, but how society engages this stuff is what makes it a social construct. So similarly, uh, when it comes to, so I'm not ignoring the realities of race. So, so with race and racism in America, and then I'm gonna take it back to the gender thing. When it comes to race and racism in America, it's yes, biologically we're all the same, right? Black people, white people, there's an infinitesimal difference between a black person and a white person in terms of our genetics, right? This is this superficial stuff. But I, that doesn't, that, that's a biological reality, right? It's a biological fact, right? Um, just like as biologically true as me being born with a penis, right? Um, but the truth is, but the, but the idea that there's social meanings attached to that blackness that make people fear me or that make people think that the, this per, that person's life is worth more because they're white or whatever, those are social meanings that are arbitrary right. and different. So, so to, to acknowledge social constructs doesn't mean you ignore biological realities. But you just did that when you said that men could give birth. So, so similarly, what I'm saying is, is that I'm not denying the biological reality of maleness, of, of the genitalia we're assigned at birth and what we can do with those body parts. I'm not denying that. That's a biological reality. Again, the social meaning I'm attaching to it is what I'm saying is more complicated. It's a, but it's not complicated. Can men give birth? Sometimes. That's my answer. Yes. And the answer that is that is crazy. And this is we we cannot. It's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. We cannot allow this to happen. But you there, wouldn't say the definition of being a woman is the ability to give birth. And I'm not saying it. Only women can give birth is a factually true statement. Only women can give birth. There, there's only one type of human being. Only people with uteruses birth. and vaginas. Yes, and can, stuff give, can birth. give birth. Only women can birth. You can, I'm not men. I'm not disagreeing with that. Birth. I'm not. And that, here's what I think we're talking past each other. What I'm saying is, I'm not disputing the fact that certain body parts yield certain kinds of possibilities. Right. What I'm disagreeing with is the idea that that is the measure of whether or not you're a man or a woman in, in, in society. Okay, but it is now come to a point where if you say that only women can give birth, you are called a bigot. That is crazy. That's nuts. So if you say, like J.K. Rowling did when she got canceled by the Harry Potter cast, that only women can menstruate, okay? Can men get their period? Can you, can, can you help my audience? Can men get their period? Some can. Okay. Yeah, trans men. Some, there are some trans men who can. Um... And again, I, I think it's okay to ask interesting questions. I think it's okay to have intellectual debates, but I, I don't think that we ever want to enter a space where we deny the, the, re, the humanity, and I'm not saying you are, but to deny the humanity or the experiences of other people. I'm, like I said, I was totally okay with trans until it became a demand. You're, what you are denying is my ability to be an intelligent human being, right? You're denying, you're denying my ability to talk about science and biology in a meaningful way. You are now making your existence is actually infringing on mine, okay? How so? And because when you make it a requirement now that I have to pretend that men can give birth and men can mention and there needs to be tampons as the ACLU is fighting for and, males be and male restrooms. And if I don't see the reason, the importance of that, then I'm a bigot. I'm someone that doesn't accept. No, no, no. But I accept people, you 
you, if you want to run around and you want to wear a dress and you want to call yourself Tiffany and you want to put a pillow, but you won't call me Tiffany. You, 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 if, if you want, I, I, I don't need to know your name. It is main, it's main thing to me. If you want to call? I'm not going to sit here and say I don't believe your name is Tiffany. You know, if a person comes up to me and they're in a dress and a, and a skirt and they say my name's Tiffany. Okay, cool, Tiffany, cool, right? Right. But when it becomes Candace is a bigot because she won't acknowledge that you know Tiffany. It, it, Tiffany, the man, got her period and, and can have a baby. I'm not playing that game. We, I am. I will so never. So tomorrow, back I'll come down. on your show tomorrow, and I have decided uh, that, or a year from now, uh, suddenly I have, I, I, I have reimagined my identity, and I have, I have, I have recognized and affirmed my identity as, as a trans woman, and I no longer want to identify uh, as Mark. I want to identify as, use your example, as Tiffany. Mm -hmm. You, you wouldn't be like, this book says Mark, you're Mark. You'd, you'd call me Tiffany. I'd call you Tiffany, but I'm not going to call you she and her because that has real meaning. And I'm not going to play the What's game. What's compromised by that is what, what I'm trying to understand. What my, my, my reality. You're now saying you've transformed your reality and now I have to pretend that words have no meanings. And they do have meanings, right? So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to call you here. Hi, Tiff. How you doing, Tiff? Did you have a good day, Tiff? Great, Tiff. I'm not going to then say she, she. I'm not doing that. And if people cannot, if, you, if people the demand. But you won't misgender me either. What? I'll just call you Tiffany. But and if they say where Tiffany and go, I, I you're not gonna be like he just left. You'll say she just left. I'll probably slip up, a, you know, once or twice. But I'm not talking about Tiffany mistakes, but I'm left. saying you wouldn't intentionally misgender me. No, I wouldn't intentionally misgender you, but I don't want I don't want Tiffany in my bathroom. I don't want Tiffany. But in you also my don't spaces. want tampons in the other bathroom. Right? That's what I don't. Get. No, I don't care. I don't care. I, I think it's stupid. I think it's foolish. I think it's dumb. But if you if that's really where guys want to go, do it. I don't care. It's not my business. It doesn't impact me. I don't have to go in the bathroom. But I don't want Tiffany in my bathroom.